we got quite a bit of work done today on the, uh, the front end of it. Um, pretty much the whole hood is um, it's pretty much done. Uh, we're just going to try a couple of uh, different paint products on it so far. Um, this right here is the like the Duplicolor um, truck bed coating on The stuff that I usually use, but uh, for some reason the stuff's a little bit thicker than the other stuff, so it kind of just like lobbed it all on. Um, so we're just kind of testing that out, but I mean the welds come pretty good. Um, you know, it's pretty solid. Um, we just got one little spot right there. Just a gap. But other than that, everything else is on pretty, pretty much on. Um, we haven't really quite decided on the motor yet. Um, I'm actually starting to think about maybe getting like a like a maybe like a motorcycle motor or something like that. Really make it you know really go fast or something. But I mean, it's just a factor of um, can I get one cheap? You know, I'm just looking for one of Craigslist. Maybe like a motorcycle that's not running and needs a lot of work or something like that. I don't know. So just kind of keeping an eye out right now for a motor. Um, that motor there. There's actually like three people interested in it so far on Craigslist. Uh, I stuck it on Craigslist for 100 bucks. So hopefully that sells. Um, so but yeah, we're, um, we're getting pretty good progress. I mean, the whole hood unit itself looks pretty sharp. Um, not everything's like straight, but, you know, you do what you do, so, um, it was pretty solid, you know, welds are kind of shitty, but, whatever, if it holds, it holds, uh, we might put like a shifter boot or something over this, just to cover that up, um, but yeah, it's, um, it's come along pretty good, just kind of, we couldn't really, um, do a full weld with this metal, um, because either it's just like really thin or either shitty, um, so we just kind of put like spots, on it here and there. Um, I mean, once um once we finish putting this stuff on the duplicolor, I mean you wouldn't even see any of the welds or stuff like that, so it'll just be blacked out. Um, but yeah, it looks come along pretty good. Um, it's like 3:30 right now. Um, not much really new. Um, yeah, we were just deciding on whether we're going to stick like a snowblower motor in it or um, like a dirt bike or a motorcycle motor. Um, so, I don't know. Whatever comes first, really. I'm still going to sell that. That's going to go sell first, though, before I can get a motor. So I don't want to be in this thing like a billion dollars and really get screwed over, you know. I mean, like the whole, the whole thing, I mean, it probably right now about... Uh, uh, about 130 bucks. Um, still gotta sell this thing. Once I sell this, I'll be golden, you know. Then I won't be in it as much. I mean, I'll only be in it as like 30 bucks without a motor. Um, so, what uh, my cousin's gonna do is he might bring by a bike tomorrow. And we're probably gonna use the handlebars off the bike. We're gonna take off the steering wheel. We'll use like a regular, you know, bicycle kind of sort of steering wheel. And we'll put um, on uh, maybe like a like a little brake cable for uh, the brakes and the other brake cable for the uh, gas and probably just scratch this idea with the uh, you know gas and brake thing but we don't know yet um, that transmission over there uh, we're just kind of deciding if we want to do like a chain drive only onto like the bar or if we want to use that tranny um, pretty much we're looking to go for the chain drive without that tranny um, but yeah it's um it's getting there. Um, probably gonna paint it up tomorrow. Um, cause we got pretty much all the welding done. There's really not much more that we can do. We'll probably paint probably to right about here, right where this bar is. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow, and then this will be unfinished until we get a motor. Um, so I'm gonna do a little work. Uh, my cousin is gonna work on the wheelie bar tomorrow. Um, he's got a couple of he salvaged these off of the. Uh, the mower deck, so he's gonna, I don't know what he's gonna do, he's gonna chop them down, I think he was saying, and you know, have something like kind of sort of stick out, I don't know how he's gonna do it, but he wants to do something, so I don't care, gives him something to do, so that's where I'm at with this, um, I got, um, I got a bigger snowblower today, um, this thing's a monster, it's a Toro, um, power something, I don't know, quick stick, 
thing. This thing is just a wreck. Um, it's an 8 horsepower 26 inch Toro Power Max. Um, pretty much when I got it, this thing didn't even work. Um, the throttle, this little line here that goes to it, is all messed up, so we had to just kind of sort of fix that. Um, this isn't really mine, it's, I'm just doing it for one of my dad's friends. Um, he's got like, he said to me, he said to me when I saw him, because the other snowblower I dropped off at Arians, and he's, he's like, well, I got this other one at my house I need to take a look at, and I need this thing done, like, real fast. Uh, he said to me, he's got a gear hanging from the side of it, and the motor's missing bolts, which it literally is, I mean, this thing just, the whole thing just lifts up right off the thing. Um, he couldn't get the power thing working, and needs a share pin, and he needs one of everything, pretty much, so... I mean, it doesn't even idle right. I mean, I'll do a quick little start up on it. I mean, this thing's gonna rock like a bastard, but you gotta check this thing out. This is just unreal. We just wash the gas tank. Let's see if this thing even works. Let's just watch the gas tank. on like choke and all the little just pretty much Don Gun had it, you know. And look at that, and there's like a little to none in there. Um, so, the like guy said he hasn't, it's five years old and he's never even changed the oil on it or the spark plug, so it's kind of some work ahead of me. Um, nice snow blow though. Bet you it's worth a couple uh, thousand bucks. Um, it's a pretty good size one. Some things are monster. I'm just looking back a little bit. You just look at that thing compared to mine. Whoop, whoop. So yeah, um, the scrap metal pile is starting to build up a little bit. Uh, kind of cleaned up the garage a little bit with that. So uh, this got some gas. Um, gonna go up to a guy's house tomorrow and uh, just work on his skid plates or something like that. Same guy that's got the Honda. He also has an Arians. Um, but yeah, as for that Honda, we got one shaft pretty much freed up, and he's just going to work on the other auger blade, and hopefully, um, I think Monday I'll have all the parts back, and I can start to reassemble everything, so, he's, um, he's kind of happy about it, um, so that's good, but, um, we're supposed to be getting a really big snowstorm, I guess, Tuesday night, so, yeah, got to really kick it in high gear. Um, finally got gas. Finally got gas. So, that's good. Fire this thing up and just plow the rest of the snow. Because this guy left. So. Alright guys. Um, talk to you later. And uh, peace out. See ya.